the last episode. What happened? What happened here? A guess looking for the the I don't know yeah, I don't some know. rockets. We're looking for yeah, we're looking for some rockets. I thought we were gonna launch a rocket. Weren't we looking for oh, like a right. nose cone? It, we gotta... Wasn't that like? Yeah, for the for like a rocket because we're about to put launch the satellites for the Hammer of Dawn. Yes, 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 yes. Oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's a, there's a bit of a conflict of interest there, right? Yeah. We, we, I think it's weird how the attitude towards the Hammer of Dawn has changed uh, between games. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in the original Gears of War, it was like your Hail Mary pass. It was like that one play in the mm -hmm. back of the book that you kind of want to use in every situation, but you gotta you gotta save it. Because there's truly some moments where you're backed into a corner and it's completely necessary. It was the thing. Mm -hmm. It was like the savior, okay? I remember playing the first Gears, especially in the Ultimate Edition, where mm -hmm. it, it was almost like the Hallelujah Chorus to hear Anya come over the microphone and say, Hammer of Dawn is online! And you're like, yes. <laughs> yeah. But now, um, yeah. you seem to have these like millennials who were like, hammers are bad, man. Stuff destroys the planet, man. It's out of control, man. We gotta not use the hammer anymore. You know, like, there's every, there just seems to be anti-hammer of those. Well, Anya was the one who decommissioned it. She's the one that didn't think it was a good thing for us to have it anymore. Do you think she did that out of fear for what we might do? Or just fear that there was a, 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 another super weapon or a highly, you know, a, a highly desired piece of ordinance that would inadvertently start another war? I think she understands, or she understood, that, you know, the cause is kind of, you know, fascist <laughs> so um i think she understood that the problem she was facing was more of a you know we don't we lost a lot of people and we kind of need to stop killing each other now so yeah we're gonna get rid of that so i'm sure so i understand why somebody like kate or Dell, who's grown up you know in in a world where you know 30 years prior we lost so many people yeah. being kind of disgusted by the idea of the hammer zone well i mean uh, i i feel i guess that's where i i guess that's where i don't understand because all right i know that humans fought for it people serens were deadlocked into battle because of it. Mm -hmm. They had they were fighting over emulsion, they were fighting the economy, they were fighting the war machine, and the UIR just happened to have this super weapon that could wipe anything off the planet, so the cause took it upon themselves to fight the UIR for I think a decade or two until they finally seized it and then they had all the power. But then it didn't matter because yeah. it was locust. <laughs> It didn't matter because locust. Right. Right. And then, in an attempt to destroy the locust, we ended up using the hammer on our own cities and people, and kind of scorched the earth, devastated the planet a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. But I don't know. All that told me. I mean, we used it. Have have an equal capacity for good and for blurg. It does. The problem is not the hammer itself, obviously. It's like the whole guns don't kill people, kill people kill people oh. argument. Hammers don't kill people. JD kills people with hammers argument. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Somebody like JD 
is going to be like, oh, well, you know, we have to use this and end up killing it, Lizzie. Yeah. yeah. You know? That, yeah. <laughs> is that not the cost? Of, is that not the cost of war? I mean, maybe not getting hammered by your comrades, but, you know. Mm hmm Yes, that is the cost of war, but is it too high? Is it too high a cost? Mm. Something to think about while we're facing down six-foot-tall yeah. hulking monsters in people's faces. For sure. Or I mean, I think that's the reason we're looking for it now. You know, we're facing down six-foot monsters who eat your face. So, you know, some things that we may have found distasteful before seem like better options now. Imagine that. Right? <laughs> I imagine that. Imagine you were just walking around looking for <laughs> decommissioned nukes to reactivate because, hey, subterranean creatures. Subterranean creatures. Yeah. I say we get one step closer to that. Are you ready to go back to that missile silo and activate I'm ready. the Doomsday weapon? Yep. <sighs> also, I guess hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, having learned a great deal more about what the Cog have done and did and are doing, really shines even more light as to why we probably shouldn't have those things. And use those things. Right? Exactly. It's not like we've been... Uh... Oh, if, if anything, we're we're fixing a problem that, uh, that we created. <clears throat> that we created? Yeah. They were like, the UIR has space lasers. What can we do? I know. Let's start genetically modifying humans. What? What? And let's start... With the children of the emulsion miners. Wait, wait, what? What? Wait, hold on. Can I raise my hand? Wait, can you see me back here? I'm raising my hand. Is anybody going to say no to this? Anybody? anybody? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, they just... You said we're going to be experimenting know, on children? Give them a nice underground lab. Okay. To do their dirty work in. Good lord. <laughs> oh. Doors welded shut. Why is it always the door that's welded shut? All right. Jack, rip that door. Because we're probably going to have to fight a bunch of asshats. That was such a defeated Jack rip that door. Yep. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. These are your friends, okay? Okay, so. These are not my friends, got some okay. shock traps, and I'll have... I'll have to skim out. Oh, yes, but we have the maximum level shock trap. Look at those bees. Oh, okay, there they Never mind. Careful out there. That damn juvie. Alright, we got the stem on. Damage. Attack and defense has been increased. Increases. You got him? I got you. Get up here. They're gonna, they're gonna start beating on you. What are you doing? Ah. Thank you. Nice Torque bows in play. And I jammed my weapon. Here, coming up. Coming up. Oh no. That's an asshole. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was not fair. 
He uh, caught me in my recovery uh, frames. Faz is the only one alive. Oh, yep, I died. Yeah, I see you. Hold on. Oh, do you? Oh, do you, Foz? You see us? <laughs> yeah. Not a fair map. Yeah. Uh, it's a mohawk. Um... Nah. It's okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any grenades? I have. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can save it for him. I don't know. Like the grenade. Yeah, okay. They got a weird habit of putting us in increasingly enclosed spaces with really large things. Yeah. Mhm. Mm They're like fight it in a football field. Now fight it in the closet. Oh. Yeah. Oh shit. Here we go. All right. Let's get set up. They're coming. I wonder what they uh, call each other because our names for them are just terrible. <laughs> Let's like I'm pretty sure the poppers think that's a very prestigious position. That's like a promotion right there. I mean, I get to put grenades on my back. I think they're happy about it. Maybe they have no idea that they are the, you know, they're the Akbar. Though. Them pawns, right? People in the back, boat. Shock traps out. People behind us. Oh, that is definitely not a shock trap. Jack. Jack, please. Oh, that works. All right, all right, all right. Stim for everybody. That sounds like hunters. Hunters sound like torque bows. I can't take the turret with torque bows in play, boo. We're gonna be a little bit compromised. If I can knock the helmet off, this fight will be a lot easier overall. Okay, okay. Um, he's gonna come up here and hit the stage. That's a locust. You just want alive down here? It's just, it's just sitting down here. It's just chilling. It's behind us. There's a locust behind all of us. What? Yes. Holy. Did he just throw Jack? Yeah, I think he did. That was so rude. Oh my god. Wow. I'm so glad I'm seeing this from a distance and not up close because wow. Okay, JD has clearly uh, graduated from ninja school. Do you see these jukes? Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, oh no, oh no, help! I'll be right there. Woo! Good one. I can only hit this guy with headshots. Watch it. Oh no, why me? Oh no, why you? <laughs> We're baiting. Get some, get some oh, stim in your life. You're good. You're good. Get some stim. Okay, he didn't like that. He did not like the stim. Our shock trap's <laughs> almost back, though. All right, JD. Just, uh, still playing that reckless card. Okay. Okay. No! No! Ow! Get over here! Come back! Woo. Oh no! Oh, you got him! Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay. That yes. was certainly um, a handful. 
And in other news, check out the door. You know, he has a knack for doing that as soon as the... Okay, beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. As soon as the enemies die. I just yeah. realized if my parents hadn't have left Asgard, my dad might have been here fighting off Haddock's men. Hmm. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we can. Ah. Uh, can we Uh, I mean, he practically spread Paddock's cheeks himself and invited that comment. <laughs> uh, oh, man. What'd we learn today about boomers, Foz? Mistaken yeah. this like crimson sand for blood. Like every time I see a room, it just it just looks spackled. Yeah, me too. Oh man, look at all these dead gears. Yeah, can we just take a second to remind ourselves that the locust and the swarm did not do this? This was the UIR. Yep. <sighs> Everybody's bad. Everybody's terrible. Okay, should be through here. Grab the other side. Well, the message in here is that every generation has to have its own boogeyman, you know, yeah, by default. Satellites. Wait, I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. Dun, dun, dun. Load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Um, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. What? Loyalist orders from Major Tully. You are in control of Asgard. To Lieutenant Melchick, Melik, and right. Captain Tagger. The scope and importance of our mission may be much larger than anticipated. I have received intelligence of the sentient violence among our troops and in the region on this news of the armistice. Armistice? The security armistice. of the... <laughs> Get your mm -hmm. to okay. the gantry. Okay. The security of the Hammer of Dawn prototype must be ensured at all costs. I've arranged for a hand-picked brigade of reinforcements to join us at the site. I will also be arriving shortly to assist. Stay alert. As usual, expect the worst. These are dark days and cursed skies. Mayor Dozman. Damn. Cursed skies. Cursed skies. You're talking about the COGS, uh, hobby habit of using ravens to travel everywhere? Helicopters, aerials, and maybe hammers? Yeah, he may be talking about the hammer down there. That's their weapon. First, okay. Uh... Oh, oops. Hey, you need to get you closer, buddy. Just like the last one. Get this entire silo. Huh? Oh, this is crazy. The UIR just really like the color green. Come on, let's do this. And orange. Well, you know, that just means caution. Uh. Which platform should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. <laughs> Wait, what? Which button did he hit? Oh jeez, I don't know. Uh, uh, having a problem, pal? Mm -hmm. No, just figuring it out. Wait, figuring okay. out? So some, uh, We're going kind of fast. <laughs> Who's he to judge? He tried to launch it himself. Okay. He was Let's also standing in a city when it took one out. Yeah, really. Like, I feel like JD got that first hand. Like, he, he, he had a very romanticized <laughs> view of the hammer as I did. And so it was, you know hitting the ground like feet away from him <laughs> then it was terrifying then it was oh god <laughs> yeah wait did i just lose my molter yes i did 
all these biceps and I can't oh, can, I can't climb up a ladder one handed with one mulcher in one hand. <laughs> Apparently not. Stay clear of that rail, people. What rail? What? What? Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know about rail. Oh, maybe the one over there. Yeah, cause you know somebody playing it in co-op's gonna go, Hey, I wonder what this does, Splat. <laughs> Alright, um... Give me... Give me 10 seconds. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Anybody wanna nudge it? No? JD, don't nudge it. She BRB'd then. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm not worried if you're not. Alright, I have returned. Have you? Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, oh. that alarm's not gonna shut itself off. Uh, Knock the satellite free. I I'm really uh, afraid okay. of what that might mean. Oh, wait. Give it a boot. Give it, give it the old Leonidas. Oh, yeah, with a boot. Uh, okay, okay. Right, Maybe someone skipped leg day. Someone skipped leg day of the legs. Is that you? Did you skip leg day? Mm. I'm telling you. I was wondering when the other shoe was going to come flying out of a wall. place to be because they'll just sit on both sides and give you the... About it's making it so hard this time, but it's really hard this time. Oh, hey, I found my motor. And now I can't grab it because there's a ladder in the way. Ah, help. They got you. They got you. JD's got you. Thank you. Thank you. One is down. Nice. Uh, I've right. got, we got, got like 44 bullets left in this thing. Too long since I worked with my fringe muscle. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Freaking Panthers. Does okay. that mean we're gonna escalate go. from here? We're gonna get Brace like yourself. snatchers next. This it's gonna be like a, a snatcher on a spinning top. I hope not. During an earthquake? Okay. 
Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh shit! Florida oh. Is that a drop shot? Uh, that's a drop shot. I'm moving. I'm moving. Yep. Oh, crap. Screw it. You can't get me up here. That's exactly what I thought until just now. When did they learn to do that? That means having the high ground no longer works against something with a, with a drop shot. You're, you gotta. You got any pistol ammo? Any bolt hawk? You have to kill it. It's, it's got like a servitor. Uh, oh wow, that's that's pretty deep. He said it's like parallel parking a sailboat. You gotta kill that thing. Man. You gotta kill that thing. Um. I'll be right back. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. You just exploded? I, that's exactly what it looked like to me. That's verbatim. Yes. I was running and then my body just... I, I pulled a Mr. Glass. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that was a drop shot but wow blast radius much I didn't even think he fired it in that direction you know what you can take him out relatively close to the top because wow Yeah, when he comes out again, I'm gonna use the bolt hawk and try and take out his robot. Got it, got it. Just keep us moving. Okay, that one's throwing a grenade. Because last time I used my pistol on all of those guys down there. Yeah. I, like I should save it. Many movies. Usually that's a good thing. Right? Usually. Bond, you missed it. Know, but I tried to throw a moving thing while I was on a moving thing. It didn't exactly work out very well. Uh, movie, you know. Olivia Munn can jump on top of a bus and not roll off the side. Uh, yeah. Drop shots! Whoa! What was that? I got hit by a flash grenade. Oh, okay. A flash grenade. I was on the outside of that and that still looks disorienting and weird. Got it! Nice. The robot is down! Um, Actually, somebody shot the hat. Oh wow, did that actually hit someone? Oh, 
Oh! Oh, wow. You know what's crazy? I didn't think I saved you. I thought you died. Whoa. I thought you died. I thought it was over for you. Wow. But I saved you, and then his friend shotgunned me in the chin. So that was, uh... They got their pound of yeah. giblets either way. Okay, they got it. They got it. Okay, so we can't. We can't <laughs> pound the giblets. We can't let them climb up here. Uh, I mean, that was obvious. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go. No! Why did you climb on the bus if you were not ready to leave? Oh, shit! More on the other platform! Oh, I thought maybe I could go back there. Oh. a better weapon. This is a wonderful checkpoint. I watched it sail through the yeah. air. I was just, oh, wow. Here we go, oh, no. All right, so. Boltox on that robot. I mean, I don't have a Boltox. You have a snub? I have a Talon. Oh, shit. How about your Marksa? That's what I was trying to go back for. I don't have a Nash Totally useless up here. Well, it's not going to be useless when we stop, so hold on to it. Robot's almost down. I think I'm missing every shot. So fast. Oh. I guess that should have been obvious, but I just never tried to do it. Do you know you can shoot drop shots out of the air? You can shoot drop shots oh, out of the air while they're yeah, yeah while they're sailing over to you. Is that, like, it should have been obvious. I just never tried to do it. Oh. We're so oh. lucky you're not playing on experience. All right. I picked up a long shot, so. Here we go. Okay. What platforms Kate talking about? Yo, you are gonna love. He's loving these headshots right now. These headshots are just popping. You see it, dear? He's about to be a cassava. I see him. Oh god. Help. Nice. All right, big guy down. Get your face off my mat. Wait, wait, wait. No. That is a potential shield. What, what are you gonna do? Take him as a shield. All right. All right. You take that guy. He's alive. Not for long. Yeah, uh, you know, pride goeth before the fall, you know. Here, take him. Take him now. Will you calm your nose? Oh, this is a bad look. I have no grenades. All right. Well, if, any, if not anything else, now they're just even more pissed at us. So. Got it. <laughs> Do it, Jack. Man, they are very resilient. All right, dear. I'm about to get my burger on. Let's do this. <laughs> You're about to get your burger on. These nuts. Ha! Got him. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> you can see me just get my Bergeron over there. I put my cloak on and we got froggy. You didn't see those three people go? JD, is that all of them? Why are you so quiet? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Then oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I was myself. focusing on killing those guys over there. They were already sorry dead when I said that. What was that? I don't know, but I got some claws down here, some hammer. You know what? Let's get this I, done. Think 
think I've barely used the hammer burst since the... Yeah, I I... Oh, what? What? Who? what the fu oh. oh, okay. I thought that was something yeah. new. I just looked up and saw a hentai tentacle. I'm actually kind of relieved that they're just swarm. What are they doing? No, but was it just me? Um, you weren't running slower for a, for a little bit there. I was the only one that was affected no. by that. Yeah, one of them started yes. screeching. I was in the middle of a roadie run, and then all of a sudden, I just slowed down. Completely. Oh, yeah, that's been... This thing loves me a little bit too much. I'm very uncomfortable. Why? Oh. Jack! Okay, we're getting down from here. Why is everyone up here with the creatures? We went to the to help Jack. We went to the Prometheus school of running from what? Oh wow. Leech tornadoes. I feel like Jack is like one leech away from just going rampant on us. Is weird. I don't understand. I don't understand this gun. The weapon grinds to a halt halfway through firing. It's just, it's weird. Well, yeah, it me. is weird. Uh, no comment. Look for another switch. Just like the other one. I'm taking this. <laughs> wow! Look, it's the hammer burst. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Wait. It's a five burst. Okay. The hammer burst has such an identity crisis, I swear. Did you think? It's different in nearly every Gears of War game. In the first Gears, it was just like a... It was basically a high-powered scout rifle. It just shot single shots. And then in Gears 2, they made it a burst-firing weapon, and it fired three shots. Then in Gears 3, it was a burst weapon, and it had iron sights on it. Mm -hmm. Like every game, it's different. And now it's a five shot burst weapon? Okay. Yeah, that's I'm weird. glad the Lancer doesn't change that much. They just make different versions of it. Um, yeah, they make the Retro Lancer. Yeah. I can appreciate the Retro Lancer. Uh, take the knife to it, you know, had, had a bayonet going. <laughs> yeah. Or some mad lad decided, hey, we can put a knife on a machine gun. Why don't we put a chainsaw on it? What? What? I feel like I can't shoot it, put a chainsaw on it. I feel like I can shoot it, put a chainsaw on it. Oh god. Feed her to the juvies. <laughs> Isn't that how the song goes? Feed her to the... Oh my goodness, nope. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he got hit by the face. Hey D, were you not paying attention? <laughs> Were you not paying attention earlier? <laughs> it hit him right in the face! <laughs> I I'm just glad he didn't explode oh. into spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> I'm just glad he's not Chef Boy RD right now. That's it. All satellite secured. Back on oh. the You're <laughs> laughing. Get him to the hide. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere until we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform uh. up there. Head over to it. You read oh, my mind. I, I just, I don't trust these things. It's something about the strings just look kind of rusty and the flashing lights. There's a giant sign that says Octoon. Yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, can I just stand here while y'all, I mean, if it's good, then you can just drive back and get me, right? 
I think it's not gonna let us go until you get out of here. I mean, not if I can help See? it, Foz. <laughs> you put it that way. <laughs> if I have a choice. I wonder how Jack feels about this. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world. I'm pretty sure the last person who used the hammer said that too. We worry about the rest later. Like pretty sure the person who blew up Ephira with hammer lasers. Who made that call? Chairman mm -hmm. Prescott? Said that. Like, listen. I'm sure he said the same thing, but at the end of the day, all we ended up with were uh, fascists and the stranded. So, yeah. Try this. Tell the stranded while they're sitting there eating rats and krill that that's the world they wanted. Guys, our pride's leaving. God damn it! Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. Yeah. And I was just getting me on the driving it. How? I mean, I'm not too sure about that, Foz, but. I mean, you let the nose get away. Now we have to go and find the nose. Need a hand here. Hey. Hey, beep robot. Can I get a pulse here? What? I can't pulse. All right, then I guess that means there's no hidden items. All right. I just wanted Jack to get his pulse on. Because our, our pulse can see weapons and... Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that. Oh, I'm talking to myself. That's what I'm doing. No, you're not. I feel like. I feel like. You're not. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. I don't think that pulls. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was holding the door or something. You know what? You might be right. Because now I can pick it. You know, you know, crazy. we got that, we got that whole, we got that whole possession thing, oh. and we have not seen a DB since we got that ability. I feel kind of left out. That's true. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunities to use it later. Well, if you didn't notice, these locusts are using DB weapons, so there may just be something uh. nearby. They had to get them from somewhere, right? All right, so let's get a yeah. pulse going. Uh, wow, I did, wow, that didn't look like a lot of people at all at first. Okay, so, what, thank you. I, I, this would be like the perfect opportunity to cloak some people, but um, it's not an option right now. Oh, yeah, let's do... Well, no, because oh, okay, Pulse and Cloak sit on the same, uh, <laughs> they sit on the same cooldown. Uh, so. Alright. Oh, can't jump down this thing? How did you do that? Racism. I just walked down. Racism. Say what you want. What kind of racist sand is this? Clearly, that's what's happening. Hey. Okay, then it's sexist. Ow! Oh. All right. Who did it? Wow, that's a lot of. Thank you. Like, how many? How many does it take? Oh, bless the bull talk. I can't get off this thing. Let me move. And that's how you scare people into making bad decisions. Wow, hi. Ah. Oh, wow. The hammer burst is not oh. like them at all. I'm like back flipping into what? Okay. Whoa! I, I got you. Oh. Jack, get that fool. Very nice. 
They're messing up my Boltok game. Oh, He's down. He better be. That, that, that fully upgraded shock trap is a beast. The little little minion thingies, they stay around longer. Wow, that okay. that's like a wall of bullets, hun. Yeah. Alright, that man is bait. Damn. Bait. He just said flanking. Watch the right side. Okay. Unless he really is flanking. I mean, I don't know. Is he still over here? Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Oh, the clock! He was flanking. <laughs> Ooh, a buzz kill. Let's catch up to the satellites. All right, there, Buzz Killington. Now that you're among your own kind again. <laughs> the ceremonial weapon of my people. The buzz. <laughs> the buzz kill. <laughs> the buzz kill. Oh wow, there's a lot of items back there. Oh, oh my favorite God, kind of rubble. Oh, jeez. What is that, a tank? Oh, wow. It's, oh, it's like right up there. Paddock, uh, we're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. This room... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. I mean, I was going to say something to the effect of... I feel like we're about to fight something here. I what? Yeah, Wait. but... What? Wait, what? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's, there's just all sorts of weird noises around this place. Come on. What is in here? Oh, look. Check this out. UIR tag. Major. Oh, oh. Major Tully. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make it. Yeah. He did not make it. Yeah, no. no. The inferior disorganized UIR. Yeah. Um, they're all the way out there. <laughs> Not like the... Jack? Yeah, I was trying to see what was in here. I don't... Well, I don't know if this is the right way. I was just exploring a bit, but we're all in here. Mm -hmm. okay. The room is unusually dark, though, and I can't see a thing. And Jack doesn't want to... Jack doesn't want to, you know, give up those flashlight beats. Jack, we need some light. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck is in here. I don't know if this is optional or not, but I just... Is there anything else in the direction you were headed? Uh, no, it's a dead end. Oh. Okay, so maybe this is... Yeah. Damn. Uh-oh. You hear this? I love this. It's just so quiet. You love it's what? It's just so quiet. <laughs> Oh, the quietness? It's almost refreshing to be okay. in a place yeah, that's not filled with nothing. mechanical whirring, you know, animal screeches, the sounds of bullets yeah, hitting right. walls. Once we're back in the it's kind of quiet. We can work our way outside. I can appreciate this for like the this? 30 seconds it's going to last. Hmm? Yeah. It's just so dark in here. I'm wondering if there's anything that I should see. I guess not. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Let's hit a pulse and see if there's anything in here worth finding. Okay. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, there's a letter here. The mayor's speech. Oh, hey. Oh, this is Mayor Garen Paddock. General Edgar Sisku has died. This is a man who has brought victory and glory to these republics for decades. I have been told his only wish as he lay dying was to never bend to the cog. Oh, well. And so, hmm, here we are. Led here by one Yori Deschenko, a coward, a weakling, an intellectual man, 
and then effectual man. He would have you believe that our only way forward is to submit to the jackals we've been fighting our entire lives. He would have you follow the likes of Mayor Tully, the failure of Ramble Gate, a man deceived by the cog once before and who has now been deceived again. Victory is now closer than ever. But they would not have you know this. They tell you that the cause is hopeless. Why? Because they are afraid. Afraid of the cog jackal. A jackal. But most importantly, a they are afraid of you. But they know that beating in the chest of every proud child of these republics is a strong heart and an iron will. Neither will be broken. Not today, not tomorrow. Today, my friends, we will make our wills known. Hey, well, that's, that's a good speech. I can't even front. <laughs> Give it up for Patrick. <laughs> I mean, well, 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 well. Do you think ultimately that the uh, that the UIR? Uh, <coughs> I think they remained independent for pretty long. Took the swarm. Took, took yeah. the swarm. <laughs> to, to finally take some of them out. But I mean, I, I feel like, you know, you're the... You're, 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 the, you're the Baratheon, you know, railing against the Lannisters. <laughs> and there's an existential threat. Okay. <laughs> And it's evolving. Mm. Look, look at this gun on this gun on my back has crystals growing out of it. Okay. <laughs> they yeah. don't care. <laughs> they do not care about your effect. They really do not. Need some help. Hey, we, oh, well. Oh. All right, one second. I got some components. I look at her. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well. Look, she holds the. Bust while up in the cool. One thing I've always loved about Gears is that you can see every piece of equipment you're holding on your person. There's no magic pocket. Hmm, interesting. That door seems to be stuck. Ah. With good reason, I assume. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, with good reason. Uh-oh. You know, my favorite thing is when the door won't close because there's something stuck in it. And <laughs> yeah. you go to remove the stuck thing, okay. it comes to life. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. Oh. <laughs> you say that. So nonchalantly. Shit, guys, oh, you said that after I started... So That was the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. I was like sliding down a hill, firing a machine gun. There's like buzz saws flying behind me. I don't know. That's gonna be a hard act to follow. Okay, they're down. Let's keep it moving, Hilda. Do you have a gun that shoots exploding things? Because that little red ammo box uh. will refill explosive weapons. So if you got like a boom shot yeah, or a no, I don't. or a I don't, see if it refills your drop shot. I don't think it will, but see, check it. I'm taking this. Uh, let's see. No, it didn't. Yeah, I figured. But yeah, but that thing is technically not a weapon. That's like a, that's like a mulcher. So, you know. Yeah. Like, what is that dance you're doing? You know what dance I'm doing. Yeah. Holy lighting, Batman. Oh, there's something over hey. here. We're all clear ahead. Dell. Okay. Just 
so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Ooh, it's a boom shot. If we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, won't matter. Just find a way back up. I mean... We did at least open the silo for the yeah. next team. I mean, they don't have to yeah. know, escort the nose cone. <laughs> they don't. Silver lining. Um, you know, the fact that we keep finding these finding what? really worries me. <laughs> oh, these little expl- yeah? These, like, yeah. yeah. I, too, stockpile explosives for no, re for no reason whatsoever. It's not like we're going to need a bunch of grenades in a minute. What do you think they're trying to tell us? I don't know. I feel like there's something that's going to need to be exploded. Oh, yeah? What, what tipped you off? All the red barrels? Over there! Incoming! What? Oh. Run! Snatcher! Or uh, see? Oi. What the hell You've never that? seen a snatcher before? A carrier! Oh, How did I get that wrong? Carrier! Back up. Wait! Boz has never fought. That's interesting. Ow. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Uh. Nope. I mean, if no, oh. if no one else was going to use it, I was going to use it. <laughs> yeah, the right. On the walls too. Whoa. Oh wow! It, it, that, looked, that looked really ineffective. It's, it's headed this way. Y'all are so brave. I swear. Okay, that those, that's not doing anything. JD stopped firing at, at its back. You gotta fire at it and it's fleshy parts. There's another explosive barrel back here. Oh, what? Boo. Don't do that again. Shot, shot, crap. Whoa. Get this creeping beast. you mention it, they all do that. Yes, yes, they do. They all burst. <laughs> that is true, I, that they do. I, like I finally feel like do. I'm at the point where uh, I'm thinking of these little jack things as part of the fight. Yeah. Yeah, there's... You know, they're really helpful. One thing that's uh, really cool about Gears of Combat is that even though it is uh, somewhat mm -hmm. a power fantasy, it, the flow... Mm -hmm. Also makes it feel like every fight is kind of a desperate situation that you're crawling out of. Mm -hmm. Indeed, true. Not that way. You always feel ju ever so slightly pushed back, no matter where, no matter where you go. Jack. Yo, Jack. Get these doors open. It's like, yeah, I'm powerful. Yeah, my gun chainsaws people in the face. But mm -hmm. do you see these things? <laughs> Look at them. Right. <laughs> Left this way. Everyone get on. Yay, we made it. Do you want to look around before okay. you jump on the elevator and then go? No. That's uh, all right, there's nothing here. I just did like a whole loop. Yeah. Oh, I okay. did a Fibonacci. Right. Yeah, I, 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 nope, nothing. <laughs> you 
you and your okay. can't right, take right, your right. can't tankerous gun. You mean the mulcher? That really does look like a mulcher. Looks like you're about to weed wax some locust, yes. Excuse me, some swarm. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, there is oh. a there is an extreme lack of swarm related artwork on the internet. Together would be so difficult. A lack of swarm yes. related Yes, I had some. Uh, yes, I had a few really good ideas it's that I could not use science. because. What do you think? We just push a button, mark to launch. Oh, awesome! <laughs> yeah, pick on the handsome one, cut him down to size. So we're back across. You're talking about me. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one. Okay. Uh, oh, see now that's racist. Why is everybody just pooping on Dell today? I can't be handsome. Any leads on that rocket? What? Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. Okay. You know, all this time I thought I was. The Thank guy. you. Oh dear God. See. Uh. <laughs> Black is beautiful. Oh damn, racist. I'm leaving the squad. I'm going. I'm going uh. to the other one where they, where they growl at each other. At least they're all a family. <laughs> Which... No love for Dell. Oh, you mean with Marcus? <laughs> yes, 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 precisely. Mm -hmm. Marcus and his tomato farm. Or was it radishes? Oh, Marcus. I think it was radishes. <laughs> I think it was radishes. Oh, this must be uh, a mock up of this thing. Yes. Man, that's crazy. Right then, shall we skiff back out into the great wide open? Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose that's what we're gonna be doing. You know they have to do it, otherwise they'll just, you know, they'll be weird and idle. The kids have to ask mm -hmm. at least 30 times, are we there yet? Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're just not on a real trip. That's true. Hey Paddock, still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. <laughs> of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly oh, stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? All of them. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. Well, <laughs> hey. That works. Man. All right, let's head out. Are you ready? Yep. What? Children, one more thing. The bridge controls one network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in I decades. knew that was coming. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Yeah. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. Vote of confidence. Alright, mm. you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about it at all. So, this Paddock, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Yeah, I'm clear. And they didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Oh, uh, shocking. <laughs> Well, they did get court-martialed. <laughs> yeah. Saving a bunch of lives. And uh, Baird was permanently demoted. Captain. Yeah. Like, yep. he, he can never go higher than... Uh, no, he can never go higher than private. He got demoted to private. He was a captain. Damn. 
Yeah, he was the captain of that squad, but after that trial, eh, he, 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 he took the fall for it. Indefinite suspension to private. Which is why he uh, he's so <laughs> snarky and kind <clears> of <throat> and short with Marcus when they first meet. Because he's like, yeah. he's like, I'm demoted to private forever. Meanwhile, this asshat's been out of jail for like two days and he's a and he's a lieutenant again yeah he Baird was kind of salty it took a while for them to warm up to each other oh, yeah I get it oh I can't take the mulcher huh. I, I, I will I will again say like I did before we left we have two mulchers on the front of this thing oh uh, okay we okay. are I, I will say like I said last episode, we are leaving mulchers on the skip. How about the next stop we make? I will take one of them with us. Okay. That way we'll have room to put something else on this thing. Because it looks like it can only hold the Come two on, weapons. Alright. Navigation powers. Um, so what we are looking for is directly to... Oh, well, yeah. It's, yeah. It's in, it's in that direction. It's a little bit to the left. <laughs> This track over here. Oh, good lord. This track over here is kind of weird. <laughs> Sand wasps in the shoe. Oh, wow. That's crazy. This was wow. You know, this, I do feel, I do, I kind of feel like we're, like, in the bottom of a lake. This could definitely be the, what? Well, they haven't dropped it yet. What? That's good. Oh, no. Right? Does this thing have NOS? And we're through. Ooh. On to the turntable. That thing looks unstable as hell. Yeah. Oh, look at all this, look at all this new land. Look at all these chickens. Did you hit something? Can you? What are you doing? Sorry. Crazy woman drivers. <laughs> oh. oh. Remember wind flares? Oh, that's how you get crystal trees. Wind flares. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Can we break one of these off and bring it back to the... Looks nice on the dashboard. Okay, I feel like we're driving into the flare. I mean, I'm yeah. no expert, but... Oh, oh, oops. Oh my god, it's a fire, it's a fire tornado. What the heck? Yep, yep, sounds about right. Ah, wind flares. Whose idea was this again? All right, we're through the storm. We are. Straight ahead. There is a down condor here. Let's get it. <laughs> Natural disaster. Panic. Hey. Crash Condor. In Condor. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just glad uh, we were able to drive in and out of that beast. How yeah. terrified are you? I'm kind of terrified. Did you bring your brown pants? Let's check out of this course. Market. Okay. You're fine. Watch it, TV. Oh. Speak of the devil. Well, how about that new ability we have? Why are they attacking us? Hello. Get him! Get him, Benedict DB! Sedition will not be tolerated. Don't you dare accuse my friend of sedition. He's loyal to us. Oh, treason will not be tolerated. Alright, they got him. It's time to resign them to their dark fate. 
into their dark face. All right, they're done. Hey, Baron, why'd you DBs attack us? Thought we were done with that. That Condor went down six months ago, kid. They still think you're enemies of the state. Okay, let's go around for anything useful uh, before we go. You get so many breaks, I swear. Oh, dude. Me? I said we get so many breaks, I swear. Yeah. You know, so many mulligans. Open, yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Hello, what happened? the game you jerk are you gonna ask yourself if I have the game paused how am I standing in front of you meleeing I don't have the game paused was that supposed to have paused the game and I can't unpause it sounds like a glitch oh okay there we go so what happened I said, hold on a second. What did you do? Well, what did you do? Well, I went, I went in there. Watch it. And... Oh, oh sweet. Why are they attacking us? Oh, I'm gonna be alive. Okay, 
Okay, I know they don't have eyes, but this might work. Okay, that didn't work. What the heck? Oh, oh please. Oh, oh please. They're firing bullets. Bullet. They say it so politely. I mean, when you say it like that, I'm actually on surrender and submission sounds kind of pleasant. It's like surrender to the card. It's like, oh, really? Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Talking to myself. Yeah, I'm listening to you. I am so glad you're listening. I'm trying to Usually when I stream alone, I like to say things to myself. Everybody will be around so it's fine. <laughs> I like replicating that feeling with another person in the room too. Out of my watch. Thank you. Mr. Clean. I'll tell you. I got him. Alright, they're done. What are they? You know the last time you said that J J D okay. I came back and and everyone was dead. <laughs> Oh, heads up. We go. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna go in there and grab stuff. Okay. When, when we come out, there's gonna be some of those flying ones. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was over. I thought it was safe to just go in and come out. Uh, has it, has it, ha it, 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 Really? Have things ever turned out that way? Yes! Every other instance oh, really? of this kind of thing so oh, far. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Like when we like when we fought the DBs next to the crashed condor, and then when we ran up the hill, there were two clusters of flying locusts. Like that time. You know what? Flying locusts. Oh no, sorry, leeches! Flying leeches! Sarah doesn't understand how leeches work. Okay, I can't take another hit like that, so I'm just gonna move over. We gotta, we gotta spread out of it. Okay. Oh, wow, that's hazardous for all our health. Um. All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Can you use that thing on this? Hey, it does work on the bishop. I bet you can. Get him. Ah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's so funny because I was just talking about how we got this and never used it. I know. Rod Ferguson was like, just you wait. Yes. Uh oh, he's almost free. Pulse. Take advantage of that double damage. You just give that man, you just give him the ball talk. Alright, one of them down. Wow. We should head back to the <laughs> and May, I can't believe Baird's secretly a gun runner. Wait, you're having trouble believing that Baird did something covert? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, we can put it Right. Up. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah.
Did you pick up a, a small missile silo? Is that what you, you just... Yeah. Yep, I just ripped it off the just thing. Just digging deep there, just, you know, working on your core? Yep. Oh man, I forgot we couldn't carry these. Put it on right. the skiff, then. We forgot to take the mulcher again, but I say we can take a mulcher off for a, for a missile thing. Yeah, it's okay. We can leave a mulcher on the... Yeah, it's always good to have a... have a, a silo. I agree. Okay, let's go. Hey, uh, how do I... There we ah, go. Oh, what the... Yaha! Mmm. <laughs> so that's cool. We got all we got all of the down all of the down condor objectives and mm -hmm. act two and three. Mm. We are true. Yep. See, they didn't know. We we came from school of Grand Theft Auto. Okay. We know how to tackle the open world, and we do not leave uh, condors on the runway. We do not. Alright. Let me check this map. Alright, so our objective is uh, take a turn to your right and do a 180. Or, okay, that's the left. I, I, I knew you were going to do that. Alright, I need you to hang a sharp left. Your a sharp left. Okay, um, there are rocks here. So I, I, I said that like a left. like a yard or two ago, you know, before you drove into this corner, smart ass. All right, so go out now and make a huge 180 to your right. Senora Snark. She of the Snark people. <laughs> you all right right there, Sansa Snark? Uh, Alright, see, this is where you want to make your 180 turn to the right. To the right? Oh, I see, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, really now you're it? going left. That's not a 180, that's like okay. a 90 degree turn. There you go. Please don't hit the crystal trees. They are a naturally occurring phenomenon. <laughs> and quite beautiful to behold. Guys, we're close. <laughs> Those are launch towers. And check it out. There's the rocket. Is that? Hmm? Is that mounted on some kind of train? Uh, and that's how we'll get it back <laughs> to the Oh, jeez. Yeah, didn't you hear about how the how the cog defeated Rom? They're always transporting some kind of giant uh, missile on a train. That's just the way this works. Our rocket train's facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turn team. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I see. Thank you for that. The other side. Clearly, Boz was confused. He <laughs> had no idea how we were going to get out of this. <laughs> It's like when you give a, it's like when you give a, a, a Gen Z or a Game Boy. Okay, now. Like, what is this? this? Started by finding a control. It takes like ten batteries. You know, that's more like children. Hey, perfect. Ready with you. Not Gen Zers. Not millennials, because Game Boys are ours. Yeah. What are children now? I thought they were diseased. They're not children. Gen Zers are... The... The oldest of them are graduating college now. Good lord. So they're like... Maybe... Yeah. So they... They remember Game Boys. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give them that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Nintendo right. DS, right, I think so that came see. out in like 03, 04, so the, the Game Boy was on its way out when they were mm -hmm. on the come up. They don't know the struggle mm -hmm. here. Okay, I see what you mean. Four AA batteries. 
of varying levels of power. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for the vindication of the Nintendo logo to pop up so you wouldn't have to blow into the cartridge. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... Woman, you gonna get your stealth weight up. You ain't gonna have me just killing all the stealth people. All right, so we got one to the right and one to the left. Which one do you want? All you have to do is get behind them uh, and hold B. Um, sometimes the prompt will pop up, but it's the same as, you know, it's the same as uh, the, 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 the executing something. Just make sure you're behind them and then you can just okay. him in the face. But yeah, that one in the distance looks like it walks then it walks back. So the one in front of the stairs is about to make a left, so I think we can probably get them like one after the other. Okay. Yeah, see. see, he's looking at you. See, he's looking out. But then, yeah, see, I think that see that moment right there. That mm. might be. Mhm. Mm All right, he's. I, I, I didn't catch that. No, I don't know what that means. Blurg, 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 blurg. Blurg -a -derp. Blurg -a you know, you know what to do. I feel uh. like I was bamboozled. I feel a little bit bamboozled. Uh. Mulcher, take cover. I need some help. Okay, I feel like I oh, no. thing. They're like, hey, so how about these grenades? I'm like, no, I want to revive her. You have a grenade. <laughs> She's gonna die. She's like right over here. Help me. You did again? Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Respect the mulcher. Take cover, you creatures. On my way. Boz, get away from me! Oh no! Alright, shock trap for that man. Oh no. Don't you die on me, I'm coming! I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. What? How? Respect the traps? I was down. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. It's, 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 you, you just have to. You know, it's, it's a machine gun. <laughs> Okay. Don't press it. Stop pressing. Yes. You can press it. Nah, he's like a goat. Let's get in there. Grab the other side. There's always the goat, dude. Okay. Always have now, the GOA. Let's turn this thing. Started right, so. by finding a control. Round two. Perfect. So, I think I'm not gonna do that again. That was an interesting experiment, but I only ended up poking the poor guy in his shoulder. Okay, dude, you're already dead. Stop. <laughs> I killed him, and he's, he's still going like, Blurk, blurk, blurk. All right, so both of them move to the right. Actually, I think that's the opportunity right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see that moment. He turns back, then his mm -hmm. friend turns back, and I'm just going to... Okay, I'm not gonna. I thought I was gonna. Man. Are they having arguments, do you think? Because they're like, I like the giants. The other one's like, fuck you, I like the jets. Or something like that. Do you think that's it? Do you think they're talking about their locust <laughs> uh, thrash ball, their fantasy thrash ball league? I got the cold <laughs> yeah. train. You got a last Blah. <laughs> 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 is, is that what's is that what's happening here? All right. Giants rules. <laughs> Eagles for rules. Oh, for the love of you see, <laughs> now you've gone too far. Oh wow. This whole face. Uh, what? Nobody sees the invisible man. Which one of you did which one of you did it? 
You gonna tell me I was giving you a remix of the James Bond song too? Hmm? Nope. Instantly recognize it. Holy drop shot! You know what? I'm kind of pitching these things to you, and you were just not catching them. Everything okay? Oh no, we're all down. Thank Jack for Jack. Oh, that's oh no, oh no, no. You know, um, I'm just throwing it out there. I just saw it happen. What happened? That thing has incredible wind up. So at least if you're alive, you can kind of see it. The the death the death uh, grab the death grab has a uh, has a pretty telegraphed um, yeah. Let's get in there. Grab the other side. Yeah, but I was I mean I think the the thing about it is that you're down. Mm -hmm. you, can't do anything you know what would be okay, awesome. Now. How do we turn this thing? If we it's acted what? like we had a four person squad. When I'm running around doing these stealth kills, it would be so cool if I didn't, if I were not playing this in single player, just because well, it's stealth. I don't know. It's... What? They tend to see me. They tend me. to see you, even when you're invisible. That's a terrible yeah. ass excuse. Well, okay, and if so... they tend to see you, then stop right, getting so... caught. All right, so do you want to turn invisible and you kill the far guy over there or kill the near guy over I here? I want to act like there's more than one person in the squad when it's stealth time. You are leaving mechanics on the table. I'm just saying. Mm. Okay, fine. Then let's just derp and shoot all of them. You want to derp shoot them? We can derp shoot. Did I just say that maybe we should... All right, never mind. Forget everything that came previous year. Yeah, because you're grunting like... Oh no, this is the easiest stealth I've ever encountered. Look at it. Oh my gosh. You need to oh. play a Splinter Cell game and appreciate what's going on here. I have never seen. I don't know how to use these mechanics. Let me just not use them then. What? Did not make them. Okay, I don't know how that. I don't know how you died. How did you die? Uh, it it it's so irrelevant. It's not even worth mentioning. Okay. I died for playing the game. Okay. You died for playing the yes. game. Yes. Okay. So what's happening is you are you insisting on hanging a football field <gasps> length away from me so much so that when I go forward, it's activating a monster closet that is spawning that thing on top of you. Please play oh. the game. Stop it. Stop hanging in the back. Waiting for me to okay, die. Now, how do we turn this thing? Start I'm waiting for you to you die. You are so far back. Stealth, you are and so I far back to... that things are spawning on top of you and kicking you in the face. I'm not stabbing another Time for you to get your stab on. Well, okay. Um, how do I do the? At the we thingy? went over this two checkpoints ago. Oh, okay. So you go up behind them and you hold B. That's what I there did, so and I ended up stabbing him in the you neck. Didn't do it right. You have to be completely behind them. Unless you're invisible, in which case you can just walk up to their face. But you have to be behind them, you'll see a giant bee. It's the same way you disabled the, the, the reject. You get behind them and hit me. And okay. Hit. You're not playing the magically harder version of Gears 5. You're playing the same version I'm playing. 
Uh, I'm not saying it's harder. I'm just saying that. You're saying what I'm doing. What you see me doing doesn't work in your game. That is literally not at all what I said. But okay. Oh, okay, then it's harder than I'm describing because you. Oh, saying different things. I, oh, I don't know what you're trying to say then. I'm saying I'm not good at this specific part of it. You know it. how to get like, good that's at it? That's just what I'm you, saying. You know how to get good at something? You, you, you do it? See, that's the guy that got me right there. I don't think we can stealth kill him. I'm not sure that's a... Th I mean, it's worth a try. Hmm. Alright, how about we go invisible? You go for the small guy. I'll go for the big guy. And, uh... I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let me equip this beast. You ready? On three. Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, rabble. Yeah, that doesn't work. You know yeah, he's do, too big to stab. He's a little bit too large in the guild. Okay. Oh, I don't even know why you but they couldn't see me. <laughs> so, that's the most ridiculous. We established that melees don't really work on them. Who cares if he couldn't see you? He's gonna punch you in the head. I see you. Bleeded? Cool. Yeah. Maybe he died and we didn't He got it. all F4 out of the game. Oh, he got teleported. Or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he got control all the time. Wow, that's a flash grenade. Why? 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 Fucking all that good shit a second ago. Boop. And now, your chest has feet prints in it. Okay. I, I would love bullets. Shock crap! Thank you. Stim! Alright, how we doing? Good. Oh! oh drop shot! Oh! This power's really coming drop in. Drop shot. Behind me, you crab! M. Night Shyamalan is the tactical advisor. Okay. Put that good. Okay, who wants to be clubbed by this thing? Put it in the face first so we can knock that stupid helmet off. Mm -hmm. And then we can fight him however we like. 
That's a lot of back and forth. So. A nice portion of head. Just forehead just begging to be shot. A drop shot? Overkill? Are these weapons on the floor? Are these weapons on the yeah. ground? Oh my goodness. Oh, is that a mulcher? Hey, ugly! Man, he's kind of a sexy right now. Well, I mean, <laughs> you are Bay. You are Lizard Bay. Watch it! He probably, knows his, he probably knows your grandma personally. <laughs> like, oh my god, she talks about you all the time. Nice things, I swear. Um, Jack, can you help me out for a second here, buddy? Thank you. Yo, with that BS. Move, move! I'm trying to get people killed. Get your voltage use. Wow. Okay. Hello, drop shot. Oh, that was bad. Let me try it again. Okay. Alright. Slightly better to kill that. Whoa! Bad ideas. Bad ideas. Oh no. Yep. yep. Okay, so I've got him slowly advancing on me. It would be wonderful if somebody could come and distract him. Ah! Hey, check your aim! Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Pulse. Yeah. Love it. Come on. I love that pulse is like a debuff. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Actually, let me hit the back button and check. We have like 24 components. Okay, uh, so I think, all right, I think the uh, I think the upgrade where Stim can revive downed members of your squad. I think that should be a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, why not? That's a, that's a really good. You don't think so? No. Yeah. It's not a bad upgrade. Cloak recharges 15% faster. Cloak squad mates move 15% faster. That actually sounds. Eh. I feel like I have. We haven't upgraded the the zapper or anything like that in a while. That's We're so true. focused on our little things. I mean, in our defense, we've pretty we've upgraded all of them by now. Like flash is finished. So mm -hmm. is pulse. Shock track is almost finished. And stim, yes. What do you think about shock traps slowing down enemies even more? What do you think about that? Or would you rather? Uh. Or would you rather uh, move faster while cloaked? Move faster while cloaked. <laughs> Agility, it is. All right. Oh, is this? Oh, flagpole teeth. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now with this thing? What am I supposed to like? This looks so badass, hon, but I don't want to get close enough to anything <laughs> to have to do this. Yeah. Need another like, pair of hands I feel here. like if I'm already this close to a swarm, I got a 50-50% chance of survival. Mm -hmm. I guarantee. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. I suppose that's what we would do in a control room. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Pulse? Jack, nice. pulse. Oh. Oh, there's probably more components in here. <laughs> Come 
Oh, this should be fun. not about to chase that thing down in the skiff. So, yep, I think that's what we're going to do. So, anybody counting on wind flares? It kind of smells like wind flare, like my knee is starting to hurt a little bit. Right, everyone, hold on. Here we go. Why does everything keep leaving without us? Paddock, Baird, the rocket's on a train headed for the hangar. Wait, what? It won't make it. The bridge has oh, to be Oh, yeah, the bridge. Can your people do it? Uh, you know, my go-to answer is usually, and then we blow it up, right? Like, yep. Yep. Um, uh, I told you my knee was hurting. I told you. Yeah, we all just got disintegrated. What is it like to be consumed by the sands of time? Is that what that's like? Train's getting away. Come on, onto the skip. We need to be on that skip. All right, Deepa. All right, everyone, hold on. Here we go. Why does everything keep leaving without us? Paddock, Baird, the rocket's on a train headed for the hangar. We didn't do that, though. Right. Like, it's... right. I think that's what Kate was getting at. But it was too, you know. I mean, people haven't used this hey, stuff in years. Oh, dude. I never want to see that again. In breathing distance of a wind flare. Story they will tell my friends. Oh my goodness. The bridge is on north. I just marked it. Oh, I it. Okay. Okay. We oh my god. Hit the tree. <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, um, I thought he made it out, thank no, goodness. We, we didn't make it out yet, we have to hit those bridge controls, anybody know where the controls Roll on the, the bridge are? Keep going. Uh, bridge control house, straight ahead. Mm -hmm. I think that looks like the technodrome, oh great, how did we even get up there? Yeah. We get out, get out of this thing, get out now. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Run, you black people. Go. <laughs> Get to the bridge control. Oh, yay. Oh, you oh, have to be fucking kidding me. Fair enough. Clock is ticking, people. The clock is not ticking. The clock is about to explode. Oh, not the point that, that mad lad. Where are you at, though? Oh no! Oh, I ran ahead. You did. I got that panic, and there's the guy with the mulch back right? here. You know we be cloaking. We be cloaking. Oh, shite! Uh huh. Yeah. Guys, what? The bridge controls are All right. not an option. Now we bring it down the old-fashioned way. Okay. 
I told, oh, I knew it, I crap. knew we were gonna end up blowing it up. So then, blow it. It's like a capsule. Rockets. Use the salvo to bring down the, okay. We have to bring, I'm assuming it's those giant yellow locks. Yep. Other side. That's a. Uh, oh. so, I cut it a little close. Hey, we did it. A little close? JD. No rescue, wicked people. Swarm! Your constant mischaracterization of the skin of our teeth is more than a little close. Watch it. We got a pouncer! Alright, I'm gonna keep a stim on deck just in case somebody gets jumped on. Yeah, what? Uh huh? Yeah. I'm trying to kill that porcupine. I'm gonna hit it. Get a knife. Okay. Apparently, if you melee us, uh, one of those things, they, uh. He's the. Wow. That was, that was special. Boom! Boom! Ow. <laughs> Wait a minute. I realized I still had this thing in my back pocket. Wait, someone's still alive? Did you not see what happened to your friends? I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get. You're crazy, though. This thing is fun, but bleeding. Well, there's no way I'm walking up to a warden with this thing, but it's hilarious. Oh, that looks like a shock trap to me. What do you think? Yeah, it's like a shock trap. Okay, that was a bad grenade. Hey, where's the shock trap? Jack! Jack, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, Jack. Here go. Gonna... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Watch your flank! Cause there's a cl okay, he's dead. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I will not be contained. Boop! Right. <laughs> Last one's oh, down. We're good here. We're getting a TV for the <laughs> Oh no. I don't know. Uh, let's just see the let's just say that the bridge won't be raising anytime soon. That's the end of my good news. You have another what? task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? What for the hammer of dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. Oh. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. Wow. So where are these beacons? In the southwest okay. cosmonaut training so... facility. And to be clear. Okay, we're on so it. So I'm I'm thinking wow. uh, the cog might have improved the hammer of dawn. Perhaps a bit too much. Yeah. The UIR used targeting beacons to control that thing. Yeah. The cog were like, nah man, just hook it up to the um. internet. Satellite. <laughs> so that no matter where you are on the planet, you can just call down space lasers. <laughs> Indeed. Y'all having fun over there in this, in this hey, dust bowl? I'm, I'm, by, I'm by the skiff. Um, um, I think we will need to stop here, dear. What? 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 Okay. Yes. Just before we get the targeting beacons. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a whole other location. Well, Jessica, if we, we don't have targeting mm. beacons, we don't have hammers. That's okay, we can get the hammers. We can get the hammers. You cannot be of UIR descent and not have hammers. 
can forego the sickle, yes, but no, not the hammers. Listen, listen. Are you, do you are you telling me? Are you telling me? And tonight, the night of, you know, September September twenty seventh, that we will be leaving targeting yes. beacons, firmly entrenched in the table. Just leaving the beacons there? Well, we're not really leaving them. We're just gonna come back to them later, I right? think. So. Do you not... Have you ever heard the phrase to a hammer? Every problem starts looking like a nail? Wow, that is like way more powerful than it should be. I mean... <laughs> You see that earlier? I killed like three locusts at the same time with it. Oh no. Dear, I gotta say, fun, fun uh, is where you take the risks. Yeah. You no, know I've never played this before. Mm. That was hilarious. I just, it probably was not the smartest move, yeah. but this thing does mm -hmm. kill everything in one hit, it seems. It's kind of worth it. But well, you know, he's carrying two of them, and he's using them as a shield. And he's using them as like yeah, that, a, that's crazy. He's using he's using know. them as like what, what does he do with them? He uses them as a face guard, as a shield. He uses them as a as a bludgeoning weapon. I mean, the only thing he doesn't do with the things is throw them at you. And you know, I I appreciate right. the coalition's restraint in that department because he absolutely does not need to throw them at you at, at all like that that's <laughs> no <laughs> like the berserker like the like the ice berserker we fought two episodes ago where it was jumping the length of football fields yeah like sometimes it was like oh i can only hop a few feet you know i'm, I'm kind of heavy and this ice is thin i'm not gonna hop too high and then it just hopped clear across the room and every time it did yeah. that every time it did that it hit me i think it got you like twice but I it's like how did how do you even see that coming i don't know i think that that was a that was a crazy boss fight because i recall that, you know several attempts we made mm -hmm. You know, where, you know, the first damage phase, it would literally jump right onto my face. Uh, it, it was jumping on your face. Yeah. You did not butter the breads, dear. Like, after, like, after, like, five or so deaths, I'm like, all right, I'm going to shoot the floor in front of this thing. When it gets up, I'm going to stand to the left of it because it always jumps to the right, except when it doesn't. And then, <laughs> before it can turn mm. around, I'm going to shoot the right. ice out from underneath it again. I would say 90% of the time that worked. But you know what I liked about that fight? Aside from, you know, we, 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 we spent like an hour and a half fighting that thing. But you know what I liked about it? It followed the rule. Right. I was thinking about it a little more. It follows, well, like a lot of things in this game, it follows the rules of uh, game design to a, to a T. You know, you spend the entire mm. level coming to a grips with these ice mechanics how they work you can th you can put enemies through the ice you can put shielded sentinels through the ice and the ice grows back after a little while what can damage the ice i don't know mm. grenades small arms fire every th active reloaded shots are especially good you spend the entire level interacting with that mm. craziness and then the boss fight has you use it as a primary mechanic and if you've played gears one yeah and you remember the Berserker encounter from Gears 1, it's a shrewd mashup of those two concepts. Mm -hmm. it's, the it's the weird Berserker yeah. fight from Gears 1 with an ice floor. I think it works. I really like that. That thing was basically a giant Berserker. I mean, yeah, it was the... What, what did they call it? The, it was an ice the Berserker. The or something? The Matriarch. The Matriarch, oh, okay. <laughs> the Mother Load. That... Yeah. Some other yeah, I was close. I was close, right? Yeah. Like a syllable. Yeah. You know what? 
I have to say something. I think I'm actually I'm surprised that um I'm surprised that that procedure the doctor was talking about actually worked because we haven't had a kit vision since. Well, no, but there's a reason for that, dear. It didn't really work. He bamboozled us. That machine did not do anything to sever Kate's connection with the Locust. What Niles did was a little bit of the old 343 Guilty Spark double speak. Because basically, dear, the only thing that machine did was use Kate's connection to the Locust to awaken her mm -hmm. mom. And now, Reyna has uh. control of the Locust. So, Niles isn't wrong. That's exactly what the machine did. It severed her connection to the Locust by handing it over to her mom. Like, the right. purpose of that machine is not to sever the connection of the Locust. I think it's to establish it. Right. I mean, all it did was... And since yeah. Reyna's not dead... Kate was not next in line anyway. We thought Rain right. was dead. Right, right, right. She was hiding inside of a brain mm -hmm. of a brain of the of, of the matriarch. They, they put her in the matriarch. That is ridiculous. That's crazy. Like whatever, wherever her expanding consciousness leads to, whatever it was, it was trapped inside of the matriarch. Until Kate. Or wherever. Until Kate accidentally <laughs> freed Yeah. Because, you know, remember, like, Marcus says it, Reyna kind of says it. The swarm seem to operate mm -hmm. not like the locust, where they're listening to a single, a single governing voice. Like, the locust had a single mm -hmm. governing body, almost like insects. They had a queen, there were drones, mm -hmm. like, even the names of the locusts. There were drones, there were captains. But the swarm, yeah. however... <laughs> upgrades. The Swarm basically have the internet. They're all connected and running on the same network, so to speak. They all can see through each other's eyes. They can all telepathically mm -hmm. issue each other commands, even though they have no problem growling. And saying yeah. things in English. But yeah, like, if, if, <laughs> if Locust were insects, you know, Swarm are basically the internet. So you don't even need to be present. You don't even need to be physically present in order to control them, which they're very scary. That's crazy. They're very scary. They're very they're like scary. Doomsday. We shouldn't kill them. I we should mean... just trap them somewhere. Because like... <laughs> if we kill them again, who knows what they're going to come back as. Well, if we kill them... We should, at the very least, not dump their bodies somewhere and forget they ever occurred. That was unquestionably awful. Should it? Well, well, you heard. Yeah. Well, you heard. They tried to burn the bodies, and it didn't work. That's why they chucked them all in a landfill, because they, they tried destroying them. It just it, it didn't take. And then, what, what did Mar Marcus say? They, yeah, Marcus said, he's like, we tried burning them, and then they grew that crystal shit all over them. You're like, so, after dying, Damn. they almost immediately became indestructible. So I can kind of understand why somebody was just like, uh, okay, why don't we just kind of just throw them into a hole then? Because we can't destroy them, and they're all turning into chrysanthemums. What do we do with these things? Yeah. To the E.T. landfill! Well, okay. <laughs> what? You could throw him in a volcano. I mean, yeah, true. Does Sarah have many naturally occurring do volcanoes? That. I mean, I and don't I'm know. terrified. Would it be an emulsion um, volcano? If so? Yeah, that would be that would be playing with fire, literally. Yeah. You know, <laughs> who knows? You could end up with like fire swarms. Oh or man! Something. Yeah. See, <laughs> the, the, these are yeah. <laughs> See, these are a series of Pandora's boxes we just don't need to open. We, just, we don't need to parse this. <laughs> I don't want to know what, that Hawaii, what the Saren equivalent of Hawaii is and what, what the volcanoes erupted. I just I feel like that's a question <laughs> for another generation of years. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, man. 
I gotta say, yes. you are the best co-op partner ever. I will continue to get on your case when you leave mechanics on the table. But it's only because this game is so fun. This game is fun. fun. I like it. Yes. This is absolutely, without question, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I love Gears of War 2. I still think it is the highest point of the franchise. But this game is really good. Because it is not... It's... It's... It's probably the first evolution I can say the game has had since 2. And I mean like an, a real overhaul wow. of just what the game means to play. and the, Yeah, I think so because Gears 3 was good, but it was carrying the torch of all, mm -hmm. the, you know, all the great things that 2 did. 2 had a profound impact. Mm -hmm. It added the executions, all the different weapons, the taking the meat shield, the weird animal mechanics like the rock mm -hmm. worm. Remember the rock worm? The the huge set piece yes. bosses, the hundred locusts on the screen at once, Mira seeing the locust underground. Like, it, it, it had, it was so packed. It was, close. it was like the John Wick two of Gears. They were like, you thought this was a simple story? Oh no! Oh no! This is a <laughs> world full of things, and I think that's you know, it brought all of that great, all of that, all those great mechanics and ideas to the table. And three shepherded them all, you know, along well. And four was like, we can do that again, but with real physics and wind flares. Mm -hmm. But five is so fundamentally different to any other Gears game before it. The stealth and the gameplay flow and these weird skiff parts and mm -hmm. these unique combat scenarios. And just, I... It's the first per it's the first third person shooter I've ever played where every new encounter didn't feel mm -hmm. like oh god not again like they're so well paced and spread apart mm -hmm. that they just feel like ah crap yeah. All right, it's enemies <laughs> you know it doesn't I don't feel like I'm eating another monster closet I feel like I I'm I'm doing the necessary I'm fighting the necessary battles I need to fight they're always exciting and interesting. And uh, between all the new mechanics, Jack, the Jack mechanics, and all of his powers, and just some of the new weapons, I just, as a Gears fan, I'm very satisfied. As a lore fan, I could not be happier. This is probably the best story they've had since, I mean, as well. I mean, geez. Probably the best story they've had since. Yeah. As well. Again. Three story was great. Hmm. Four story expanded the world, but two was the one you know where it was like, "Wow, really? All of this?" Yeah. You never forget that moment when you know never it blows that. up for you. It's like nobody ever forgets Aliens or Judgment Day. Yeah. It took a simple concept and then just blew it up in the sequel to such an insane degree. It just became iconic. That's what we got here, okay? We, we got we got it. We got ourselves a, we got ourselves a win. All right. Thank you for not being alien covenant. I think so. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just call it Prometheus too. It's basically what it was. Why was there even a xenomorph in that movie? Uh, anyway. That is a discussion yes. for another day. We may have that discussion whenever they announce, mm -hmm. whenever they formally announce the new one. We will talk about it at length. Uh, yes, for sure. I have I have questions and they don't have answers. All right, we're going to conclude mm -hmm. this expert playlist with someone. Someone beacons and bludgeoning objects. On the table. Oh no, it's go oh, oh, it ran okay. out of no. Oh. Yep. See, look at what you but did. It, I didn't hit anything. That's not even. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know what to say to the people. I'm gonna go find my lancer. Good night, everyone. It's lost. <laughs> Uh, you can find us on the Instagrams, on the YouTubes, on the Twitters, on the, Twitters. On the Facebook. A bludgeoning object. And on and.
Pero no tengo en StatCom. Where the bludgeoning objects don't run out when you don't hit anything with them. My bludgeoning object. Yeah. How did you just take my bludgeoning object? Yeah, that's what they did. Jack, I'm standing two feet away from this, uh. but I need to feel better. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to me. He brought me a lancer. He nice. goes the way to a cog's heart. Alright, folks. You heard the lady as she laughed at the imminent demise of my bludgeoning object. Mm -hmm. I want some Fs in the chat. And for my bludgeoning object, please. Yes, long live the bludgeoning object, I say. If you could active reload it, you know, it'd probably just shoot lightning, so let's count our blessings. Yeah. That has been the expert playlist. Number 88. Good heavens. We will be back mm -hmm. at the usual bat time in channel this Monday. To, um... I mean, I just, I feel like we're slowly assembling a nuke here, but... I don't know. Einstein yeah. would not be pleased. Well, it's, you know, it's the Saren version of a nuke. It's the Hammer of Dawn. Yeah. You know what the COG version of a Saren is? A locust! So... Uh... Okay. All right. Good night. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah. That's another thing. So yeah. 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 Good night, everybody. But yeah. 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 As I'm walking down this hill to you now, nah, you gotta listen. See, this, this is exactly what I mean. You know, you thought gears was simple, right? Gears too showed you the world is not that simple, mm -hmm. right? 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 But even story-wise, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at what Gears Five just did to the entire story, the entire lore book, the entire lore book. <laughs> Mm -hmm. has been just uh, has been flipped on its head it's like somebody turned on a black light and all of the things in between all of the words in between the lines just appeared in front of mm -hmm. us and we just realized what the true story yeah. of gears is for four straight games we yeah. thought we knew the story of this game what the conflict was how it started and how mm -hmm. we fought bravely and valiantly to try and stop it. Um, Gears 5 was like, wrong. Yeah, not so much. Wrong. I think you know the Locust, man. Uh -huh. I think you know Mira? Yeah. Y'all don't know Mira. <laughs> it's true, I did not. I thought the surface level... Revelation was going to be that Kate was somehow related to the Locust. And I, th I thought it was going to end there. Well, no, that seemed obvious. You knew. know, that seemed obvious from the beginning that she was somehow related to the Locust. But we were not, we didn't know how deep the, no. the Locust hole no. went as it went. As it I went. thought the conflict was going to be all her own. She was going to have some Locust human, you know conflict internally maybe a little externally thought Mira was going to be like a, a, mm -hmm. a specter on her shoulder kind of like the Joker and Arkham Knight or or Hitler and Jojo Rabbit I saw the second trailer it is very obvious that that Hitler is clearly a hallucination in that child's mind <laughs> his imaginary friend is Hitler <laughs> now I want to see it even more yeah but yeah, I, I thought we were going to have a whole game of Kate going through that on her own. I had no idea we were going to blow up the very fabric of what we thought we understood about the Gears universe. Crazy. 